Joining us now, Democratic Congressman Dan Kildee of Michigan. He spoke yesterday at the Harris Walls rally in Detroit. Thanks so much for being on the show this morning. Um, love to hear your reflections on how yesterday Thanks, went. Uh, and also following up with that, you know, Michigan is a diverse state and you saw some of the challenges play out during that rally uh, when Kamala Harris was confronted with some protests. Um, she managed through the rally, but also it gives us a sense of some of the challenges moving forward in addressing the needs and the concerns of Michigan mm -hmm. voters. So what do you think their strategy should be in, in making sure that they hear everybody in that state? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. And it was an amazing rally. I've, I've been involved in every presidential campaign since 1976. And maybe with the exception of 2008, I haven't seen energy like I saw yesterday. Uh, you mentioned that I spoke to that crowd. Uh, had a great reaction, but I think I could have gotten up and read the phone book and they'd have been screaming on their feet. They were really excited about this ticket. But to your challenge, to the challenge that you present, mm -hmm. I think what, what, uh, what uh, uh, Vice President Harris and Tim Walz has to do, they've got to be here and they're going to be back again and again. There are diverse views and diverse voices uh, within the Democratic coalition. Those voices are being heard, and I think we need to allow that to take place. But what Vice President Harris showed yesterday, she's willing to listen, but she has a message that she is going to deliver. And I think that message, mm -hmm. as compared, even on this issue of Israel and Palestine, as compared to that question, is a much better path forward for this country than the dark, dystopian, angry, and yes, weird agenda that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are offering this country. The Harris Talking campaign is, has made no secret that Governor Walls, uh, a Midwestern governor, is going to spend a lot of time uh, in Michigan, uh, as well as Wisconsin and Western Pennsylvania. Uh, you served with him when he was in Congress uh, for a number of years. Uh, tell us why you think he is the right messenger there for a state, Michigan, really diverse in terms of the type of voters that the Harris team needs to turn out uh, to win in November? Well, I think it's because Tim's whole career has been focused on service, and we appreciate that in the state of Michigan, as others do around the country. But is, he's also very practical, very pragmatic. Uh, folks in my state don't necessarily want to hear the big talking points. They want to hear somebody who speaks the language that they speak every day at their kitchen table. And that, just in the last couple of days, we've seen such an overwhelming response to Tim because even when he's standing there in front of the microphone, he's one of us. I've heard people say, well, we don't know Tim that well. They're gonna have a chance to get to know him. But here's the real point. They may not know him yet, but he has known you all of his life because he's one of us. He grew up on a family farm. They went through their struggles. He enlisted in the army to serve his country. He was a teacher. He was a coach. He was not born with a silver spoon in one hand like the other side of the, of the ticket. Uh, Donald Trump and J.D. Vance does not have that same biography. He is one of us. And in Michigan and lots of other places, that really makes a difference. And I think it will. Yeah, you noticed that. Uh, and I think it's really going to play a huge role in this election, Dan, that um, a school is like a little country, you know, and you have to be a leader in that country and you have to be a great example and you have to be fun and you have to be a, a, a person who respects others and leads by example, but also make sure that things stay in line. And you just see it when he does the rallies. You see the teacher or the coach. Um, and I think it's going to help him a lot. It's definitely a huge contrast to J.D. Vance. Uh, Democratic Congressman Dan Kildee of Michigan, yeah. thank you very much for coming on the show today.